Well, our next presenter, I think you've already been introduced, I'm sure everybody knows quite well, Dr. Natasha Vita Moore, also known as my wife, so you better remember that. Uh, Natasha is someone who gets stuff done. If you want to get things done, she is the person you want. She has been involved and pushed ahead with so many different projects. Uh, we did the Extra B conferences together starting back in 1994. Um, and some of the people around here know about those and were involved in those. Um, Extra B Institute was really the organization that came before this organization and kind of started the way. And so Natasha was, was one of the, you know, along with me, the main force in that and, and now also in Humanity Plus. Uh, also the Vital Progress Summit, which I have to mention because that led to the proactionary principle that I constructed and I think is an important idea for transhumanists. So that was something again that Natasha organized. And uh, apart from all the XRP conferences and transhumanist conferences, uh, H plus conferences, uh, more recently, and this is something many of you may want to check out if you didn't hear about this a couple of days ago, she's currently running transhumanist studies online twice a week. Uh, incredibly underpriced in my view. You should get, and I, I, I think, don't, uh, isn't there a discount for Humanity Plus members or? Yes, Humanity Plus members are free. No, oh, yeah, well, you can't be oh, free. Oh, sorry, sorry. No charge for Humanity Plus members. I, I think education ought to be free, but it's $25, or in the EU, EU that would be what? That's 20, 21, or 21 yeah. euros. Very easy, and it's a highly dense course, but don't let me yeah. interrupt Max, please. So, yeah, you should definitely sign up for that. It's, um, I'm, I'm next door a lot of the time when those courses are going on. I can, I can hear that they go probably twice as long as supposed to, because nobody wants to end the call. So Natasha has been described in many different ways, uh, and being married to her, my favorite one is probably uh, superhuman object of desire. I like that one. So anyway, I think I've probably said enough. Please welcome Natasha Vita Moore. Oh my goodness, that was so ungraceful. Okay, let me start over. Okay, hello. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about Humanity Plus, one of the sponsors of Transvision, and Humanity Plus has sponsored almost every single Transvision conference since its existence, which is truly wonderful because Humanity Plus is focused on education. As educators, our aim is to build knowledge, reliable knowledge, to be a source of intelligence, creativity, and visionary thinking through the principles of critical thinking, and visionary thinking. We live in a world where systems application of knowledge is the trade of futurists, is what we do. We think about trends, we think about how change comes about, what motivates change, and where change is headed, and what driving forces of change are on the cutting edge, and what has already been festering in the background, how to bring it forward, and to make it more available to people there ought never to be a price on education. It's a gift to do. Is that right? Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's moving away. Okay. It's a gift. Knowledge is free. I am parted with the um, greatest respect and responsibility. But for me, the idea of transhumanism is all about education. It's informing people about how the future could be different through the work that we do as innovators, entrepreneurs, engineers, scientists, technologists, psychologists, mothers, fathers, and thinkers. Kindness is the second greatest gift. We have to be educated to be able to understand that compassion and empathy and paying it forward is what we do. Humanity Plus has been working tirelessly for a long time, but it's not the organization Humanity Plus INC, which is an incorporated 501c3 nonprofit. It is the people. On our board of directors, we have world leading thinkers in the respective fields. Our advisors are first place holders. They're the people that came up with the ideas like nanotechnology and artificial intelligence. This is important. Blockchain, Bitcoin, all transhumanists. 
When we think about the very core ideas that are the themes of conferences today, no matter if they're at high-end universities like Oxford or Cambridge or Harvard or Stanford or Yale, USC, UCLA, anywhere in the world when you look at the departments and where the students are learning the most important knowledge, it is in these departments where they talk about the ideas that came out of, that seeded from the minds of early transhumanists. The transhumanist movement is relatively new to be sure. It started in 1990, the movement. The philosophy was written around 1990, somewhere around there. The manifesto, however, preceded it because the term transhuman preceded transhumanism. That was written in 1983 by me and ended up on board the Cassini-Huggins spacecraft, taking the words, we are transhuman. Let's not only evolve in our bodies, but also, in our minds. I see this enormous deficit and it touches my heart. How could we live in a world where we see people not being educated? This is why Humanity Plus is here. Again, it's not the incorporation, it's the people. There is no other organization in the world that has a level of knowledge, expertise, care, than we find at Humanity Plus. And that I love. I love being part of it. It's not the first transhumanist organization that I've steered. I was president of Extra B Institute, the very first transhumanist organization developed by Max. But today, we have a responsibility, and that is to educate people throughout the world about the possible futures. Okay, I'm going to mention just a few countries where I've been an advocate. I have gone to these countries. I've spoken at universities. I've spoken in front of President Putin. I've spoken in front of diplomats, presidents, thought leaders, world-famous celebrities about the future. Almost every European country I have given a keynote talk in. Most every South American country I have arrived at. Asia, the Netherlands, looking at Norway, Sweden. I have been there and talked about transhumanism and longevity for the past 30 years. I am asked the same questions over and over again. Over population, the haves and the have-nots. Human enhancement, won't life not have meaning if there's no death? What are we going to do with all the people who live longer? Okay, getting down to the chase. Humanity Plus is a place where you can learn where the possibilities are, where the technologies are headed, and what the latest sciences are. Why? Because we steer Humanity Plus with the expertise in knowledge of critical thinking the ability to continually ask questions, the ability to say, I don't know, the ability to admit when you're wrong, because we're all learning. That's why education is so important. Okay, so why be a part of Humanity Plus? Because you'll be a part of one of the greatest movements in this paradigmatic shift of humanity where we're taking charge of our evolution, when we're looking at how to solve some of the problems that have been so grand that we were not able to solve them in the past, we're looking at the enormity of the ability of where artificial intelligence, machine learning, and artificial general intelligence are heading. We're also looking at the longevity, longevity sciences, and understanding some of the bullshit from some of the fact. This is important. The longevity industry is one of the fastest growing industries in the world. Unless and until we can be educated about what to do and what not to do, and understand the correct, reliable information from a lot of the exaggeration and hyperbole, we're not going to be smart enough to lead the way in the future. The smarter we become about these things has nothing to do with IQ. It has to do about paying attention. I think the great talk that we had today by many of the speakers 
and I want to pay homage to a speaker who talked about Bitcoin and gave us a history of it to where we're looking at the future of finances and money. We must have that same level of deep thought and insight into longevity. Again, longevity is not just about the body, but it's also about the mind, the brain. The fact that we understand the diversity and the multiplicity of lives today is crucial. The opportunity to share that with others is a mission. Do we have the, the website? Okay. Oh, I don't see it here. It's not up. Do I need to do something? No, they will put it up. Oh, okay. Just <laughs> Sorry. keep on, keep on. I get emotional when I think about this because I've been in this field for a long time. I've seen people come and go. I've seen the work, the hard, hard work that people have devoted without getting paid a penny. I've seen people get ideas that are copied and parroted. Remember, I'm an academic. I'm a professor at university. I understand plagiarism. I understand cutting and pasting information. And I always look at where the sources are. And I tell my students, please use primary sources because those primary sources are the important ones. And if you just use Wikipedia, someone else is going to copy Wikipedia. Be mindful. OK, so if you were to join Humanity Plus, there's so many things that we can offer. Now, here's the website. And it's, I'm not going to go through the website. I'm just going to crystallize in this before, because I wanted to give you the raw me and why I love this so much. Because I think that the human condition can be resolved through the ability, not just the sciences and the ethical use of technology, but by our human understanding and compassion. And unless we get out there and do it, whether it's through socio-political economic means, we still have to be educated. We cannot be effective politicians if we're not educated. I speak that from my own experience. I'm the only transhumanist who has ever been elected in a legal political party by a landslide. And that was in Los Angeles, and I ran on the Green Party ticket. So if anyone says transhumanists don't care about the environment, they are deeply wrong. Transhumanists understand that the environment is consequential to longevity. You can't live a long, healthy life if you're living in a world of heavy pollution and discharge. We understand this. This is a given. OK, so it's up there. These are the things Humanity Plus does. It's a membership. And you're going to laugh, because I'm as um, strict on membership with Humanity Plus as its executive director as I am on transhumanist studies as its founder and, and uh, senior faculty. It's inexpensive. Education, again, ought not to cost something, just enough to run it. It's where we are entrepreneurs that brings in the money from our innovations. OK, $60 a year. That's $4.99 a month, less than a Starbucks cup of coffee, less than a Pepsi or Coca-Cola or any type of Perrier. That's what it costs a month. A year subscription, again, is $60. What do you get? You get to meet people. You get to sit with people like Anders Sandberg and Jose Codero and Max Moore and Paul Siegel and Didier and David Wood and all the incredible minds here in the audience. Ben Best sitting up there, a brilliant mind. You also get to meet people who are not here in person, but you can meet them in person. People like Eric Drexler at Oxford University, who is the father of nanotechnology. You won't meet Marvin Minsky. He's no longer with us, but he was at many of our conferences. But Ben Gertzwell, who codes Sophia and coding the new baby robot Grace, how amazing is that? We're all this wonderful, large, extended family that loves to brainstorm and loves to argue and debate. And that is wonderful, because it keeps our minds active. Where else can you go to find such a rich group of minds that are highly skilled in their respective fields? None of us share the same political views. We're diverse. None of us share the same religious views. We are diverse. None of us share the same economics. 
perspective, we are diverse. And it is because of that diversity that we can grow and learn, because we don't know what the future human will become. Yes, okay, we'll probably become some sort of post-human, and that's open wide, but wouldn't it be better to have some say in this, to be involved in the think tanks, rather than have those people who don't understand how to use foresight and to think about the future and where the trends are heading and how to protect life. Tell us what our laws are, our rights to our bodies and our minds, what neuropharmaceuticals we can use, what biotechnologies we can use. We need to be involved in every aspect of this. But Humanity Plus is not a political organization because it's an educational organization. And it would be illegal for us to push any one political party as a 501c3 nonprofit. So therefore, we support all political parties that support the tenets of transhumanism. Transhumanism also has the H Plus Academy, which meets bi-monthly. We have a round table of thinkers who debate ideas. And then we have breakout sessions. This is all online and it's free, no charge. You do not have to pay a Singularity University $5,000 to go to a 30 minute session. It is free. The conferences are minimal in cost and of course you get a discount. Our newsletter goes out monthly. I fill it with international information about all the different transhumanist groups around the world and what they're doing. That information is a really tight piece of knowledge you meet people through that. Our email list is free to our members. Our summits are free. At least they have been. We'll see what happens in the future. But I just want to, in closing, saying a compliment to our most recent summit. It was called the H Plus Summit held online. It was during the pandemic, so the title of the summit was Post-Pandemic. Uh, what was it? Beyond Discrimination and and, and scarcity and disruption. We were looking at what would a future be now that it hit us that we are vulnerable. There is this virus going around. It was a wake up call for the whole world. But here in transhumanism, we understood it. We put on a summit, we said, okay, let's face the fact, this is what's going on, let's look at some of the dangers, existential risks, runaway gray goo, AI, some of the, the themes and stories and get the narrative as clear as possible, the pros and cons, what are our options? At that summit, we had speakers from so many different countries, and a lot of women, I have to say. Speakers from Africa, where we created Girls Can Code. It's a program out of Humanity Plus teaching African girls how to code in AI. Narrow AI, to be sure, maybe a little bit of C Sharp, C++, maybe a hint of Python, but at least something to help. We continue to work with TAFs, which Didier mentioned. These different groups are essential to transhumanism, not only in the European countries or in South America and Asia, but they're growing. And in academics, oh, I wanted to mention just lastly, there are over 3,000 people attended our conference. Wow, that was a coup. And I have to thank the Board of Humanity Plus and our advisors and Dr. Ben Gertzwell, whose team put it together with his Singularity Net. That is amazing, 3,000 people. Where we need to go now is to build Humanity Plus, and that's the mission I'm on. I need you all to join because we need your minds. We need your sensitivity, we need your questions. We're all asking, but it's you who can help us help everyone else. And if we're to build the future that David Wood imagined with a political perspective in growing, it makes sense that we have more people in the majority of understanding how to argue and debate effectively that you can learn at Transhumanist Studies. The online program I created, some of the faculty are here, but that only costs $25. If you're a member of Humanity Plus, it's free. We meet twice a week, every Monday and every Friday. It's supposed to be an hour, and I have to eventually kick everyone off Zoom, but it goes on to usually two hours. Lovely debates, rich conversation, in-depth ideas. So I welcome you to join me with Humanity Plus. There'll be other organizations to be sure, and Humanity Plus might evolve into something else five, 10 years from now, but this is where we are now. 
again, is the largest organization in the world. It has the greatest amount of outreach to people throughout the world, and it is looking ardently at finding solutions to problems. We have nothing to sell you other than knowledge and a little bit of love. We have nothing to give you other than knowledge and the ability to debate with us. So please join us. Thank you. Thank you, darling. I mean, Dr. Vita Moore. That was excellent. And seriously, come on, don't be cheap. Uh, these guys all work for nothing. I'm not on the board myself, but these guys work hard all the time for no pay, but on these great events. Uh, just put that teeny bit of money and join the organization and, and help support it. That would be really great. Thank you.